Prodigal Steve returns to the darkest dungeon. How's it going, everybody? Uh, I am of two minds about last episode. On the one hand, we made a bunch of money. On the other, we lost our antiquarian, which is unfortunate. And probably largely due to my misplays. So I do not feel good about that. And therefore, I'm going to endeavor to do better uh, about silly mistakes in the future. But I think that I'm always endeavoring to do better in the future in this game. So, to that end, today, I think we are going to avoid doing this. Because I'm pretty sure I want to field these three. And then maybe one other level two. So, my goal is going to be to get some of these level 1s that are close, maybe up to level 2 this week, and then next week tackle the Apprentice Necromancer again. So, we're going to go ahead and take... our Hellion, our Leper, our, do I want to take my Plague Doctor, or do I want to take an Arbalist? Maybe we can take both? Arbalist there, and then Plague Doctor here? And see how that goes. All right. Um, unequip all trinkets. You can get that. You can have. You don't have any bleed skills. You do have this though, which is a stun. So that could be good. Go ahead and give you plus 30% to stun skills. You have Warren's Phobe, so you're going to get the snake oil. Now, I don't think you have anything... No, you have a bunch of bleed skills, though. So, yeah, you know what? You can have that. And honestly, it doesn't matter if these two get bounced around too terribly much. So, okay. Let's go ahead and embark with this. Take one key, two shovels... Warrens. I don't... It's been a long time since I've been to the Warrens. Is that Pigmen? It's short, so... Let's go with ten torches. Uh, we have the money for it, so we'll go ahead with twelve food. That'll give us two things for if we need to eat, and then a little bit of buffer room for healing. I'm going to bring one of these. Basically just two of all of this stuff, just to have it, just to be safe. And then I think that should be sufficient. Ah, it, okay, it is pig people. All right. They breed well, quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. At least we have a straightforward path going for or going ahead, I guess. I was just Curious stuttering there a little bit. Art, his expecting a trap. By his and, own eyes. Uh, I I willed it into existence. Are you a kleptomaniac? Well, there you go, that's what you get. Impulsive. Mm. Alright, 
Let's see what we've got in here. Probably should have burned a torch, but... Okay, we did get the surprise. Ooh, 15% protect. That is... rough. Okay. So, what do we do here? Do we want to start with a stun? What are these guys? Their blight resist is 40. 60? Okay. I think... I'm going to start and blight this dude. Since they're all surprised anyway. And then next time I get an attack with the Plague Doctor, I'll go ahead and try and stun this big dude in the front. He's got like a cleaver and also a uh, Morningstar? Is that what that's called? I don't remember the difference between that and a flail. So... He's got a, a spiky ball that he's going to try and uh, cordially introduce to my face. What you, what's your bleed resist? 20? That's not bad. You know what? If we could just take this dude out with uh, status effects, that'd be beautiful. Alright, so he has... He's going to get hit with six points of damage. He's going to be one away. Which is actually fine, because we should be able to hew him. That actually might just straight up kill him. Alright. Oh! Okay. I can get behind that. Alrighty. Go ahead. Get rid of this stress dealer. Please don't blight me. Oh. Alright. I don't... I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I'm, I'm even less of a fan of that. Plead? Yeah. Okay. First and foremost, what's this do? Minus 10% damage, minus 3 speed, minus 10 max HP. Oh. Okay. Well. This is our life now. You can move back or forward what? You can't stun the dude in the front. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's stun this dude. Alright, I like that. Please. Okay. We're almost in order now. Or at least in a functional order. Yeah, I'm not a, not a huge fan of that. I think we just focus. Honestly, the bleed isn't so bad. This dude diseasing us is way worse. So let's try and get rid of him. Seven damage. It's not bad. Uh, how, how bad is that bleed? Alright. I will go ahead and bandage you. This probably isn't going to cut it. 3 to 8 or 4 to 9. Let's try and get the kill here. Yeah. One point off. Yeah, see, this is what I'm most worried about. Okay. I'm going to have to figure out a better way. Can we just talk about this for a second? He gave me a disease that lowers my disease resist. It's just, it's, it's the gift that keeps on giving. On the one hand, I'm displeased with the fact that I now have two people 
who are diseased, but on the other hand, I, I appreciate the irony of that disease. Okay. Let's go ahead and move along. Can we... This is blight. 60% blight resist. I just don't feel good about that. But we don't have much else that we can do other than a heal for one point. So I guess we try it. And we did get it. I dig that. Okay, so that's a... Oh, a push and a stun. Maybe I should have equipped that move resist trinket in retrospect. Wait, what? Stun, no damage. And then a debuff to ourself. Well, I guess I should have looked at that a little bit closer. We've got 4 and 11. You know what? Let's just try and kill this dude. Press yeah. This advantage. Give them no Take quarter. care of that. Because this, uh... This chop will put him probably in range, if it doesn't kill him outright, of the blight killing him next turn. Or it'll miss also a possibility. Um, not thrilled with that, but not the worst thing that could have happened. Hmm. It's gonna do no damage. One to two. I think we have to throw out a heal. It's only one point. Which, in retrospect, I probably should have brought, like, a better healer than just our Plague Doctor. But here we are. Okay. He's in range. I don't think I can actually attack that dude in the back, huh? Can we hew that corpse to death, though? Bring him up to the front? Close enough. Okay. You have to heal. You can't heal yourself. That's right. Okay. One day I will remember this. Just Continue end this battle. Onslaught. Destroy them. Yes, we will take all of that. You can eat this extra food that we just found. Puts you in a little bit better position. We did get scouting. So we're going to have one battle here. Some curios. I imagine we're going to have to go all the way to that far room. What is this? Sacrificial stone. Hmm. You know, we're just gonna walk away from that. No good can come from messing with that right now. Are you all just wealth beyond measure? Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Curious. Okay, so you didn't want to steal it, you just wanted to look inside of it. Honestly, that's fine. I was gonna open it anyway. The way is lit. The path is clear. All right, what do we have here? We require only the strength this dude looks forward. terrifying. Twenty-five percent protect. <sighs> well, we know who's getting blighted. Zero damage. That's fine as long as yeah, he gets the blight. All right. Um. What do we think? He has 8 HP. He's going to take 4 damage. I mean, he is dead. But I would like him to be, like, super dead, if possible. Yeah, there we go. Mission accomplished. Just smack this dude in the face. Look, I know pigs are kind of... They're smart, right? They're intelligent creatures. Uh, they're not swift, though. So, even if he saw your attack coming in, how fast can he really move? Like, you need to be on top of that. Right. 
four damage. Perfect. Yeah, you know what? That's what you get. You miss a... You miss an attack and you get bombed on. It's just the way the world works. I like the bleed resist, but you the real MVP. Uh -huh. Ventress. Okay. 60% blight resist, 40%. That's not going to do any damage, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Is he trying to blight this dude? See how that works? Yeah, he did resist it, as basically expected. But there we go. One two punch, took him out. Now we just got to worry about this big guy. Okay. Base accuracy is 75. If we can get like a trinket or on all your stuff. Hang on, can you heal? No, just yourself. Perfect. Hmm. What's that do? Two to three damage. Minus 20% damage, minus five accuracy. 90% chance to hit. That might not be the worst. Yeah, all right. I can get behind that. Um, I guess go ahead and throw a heal out here. Battlefield medicine. Just take a take a half turn to get ourselves back sorted out. Six damage, not inconsequential. 7 to 14. I would really, really like it if you got the 14 here. You'd be doing me an enormous solid. Their formation is broken. You know what? The offensive. I, uh, I rescinded my, my previous critiques of your performance. End. I was perhaps a little quick to judgment, one might say. We did get a journal page here. Can I read that? Oh, I can. Oh, it's page five of six. The others are gone. They were victims of a malevolent transformation. Their seals had rotted to soft, vulnerable flesh, slowly suffocating without gills. The worst was their eyes, close set and forced to squint through fleshy slits. I shudder recalling the horrific and unclean warmth of their blood as I rinsed my talons. I nearly wretched. May death, may death grant them soft mercy. Okay. Well, that's exciting. Got a little bit of story there. Also, a thousand gold in the form of sapphires, which is exciting. And a free torch, presumably. Excellent. Uh, we don't need to burn that just yet, since we know there's no battle in this room. Man, look at this place. Like, how would you like to be, like, wandering about in here with a bunch of people you barely know fighting pigmen? Like, this can't be a fun time. And then stepping on Ancient a saw blade. Lie in wait. Uh, yeah, we could sort that and out. Strong and thirsting for blood. Another torch. Perfectly acceptable. Packs Ooh, two torches. Are often All right. On supplies. Well, a torch is not loot. It is, it is supplies. So... I appreciate the input, Wayne June, but not especially relevant in this particular case. Okay, we are going to have to go all the way to the end. Which, again, is what I expected. Yeah, I kind of figured. Good thing. Ruins Tactician. All right. Uh, that worked out in my favor. I was probably going to investigate that anyway. What's this? Nothing, nothing. I like the dodge. That was nice. Mm. Swine drummer. Yeah, you look like the swine equivalent of a stress dude. What was that? You marked me? And attempted to debuff me? 
I don't appreciate that at all. And what we have, what is this thing? Dodge is zero. All right, so I should just be able to like smack you in the face and you're done. Yeah, I'm worried about you. Oh, their dodge is all zero. Okay, well, maybe not. Um, what do we think? Plague grenade on this guy? He critted for one damage, and it resisted the blight. To be expected, I suppose. Uh, can we bleed you, though? You can allow that. Yeah, alright. I, I like that. Oh. Oh. Gotta go. One point away. Perfect. Um, oh, you can only heal people in the first three spots. Okay. Well, I guess throw out a heal on our blighted uh, Hellion. Stun comes off. Please don't. You can't mark the whole part. Ooh. Unbalanced. Oh, that is that is not good. Yeah, alright. I regret using that bandage now. Please don't. Not another Arbalist. I can't lose another Arbalist. Yeah, I know my hero's blighted. I'm less concerned with that than you might think right now. Okay. Get rid of this dude. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. You can only heal yourself. Which is great, since you've taken no damage. End this thing's life, please. Now. I'm really gonna need... a one-two punch from these two. Right, let's try and bleed this guy. Okay. First and foremost. Here, please. Hey, all right. I like that. Chop this guy's face off, or not. Of course, still marked. And bled again. Okay. At least we got the death store. Oh, really wish I had more bandages. You have to heal yourself. have to heal our Arbalist. Alright, we're stabilizing a little bit. I, look, I wanted to get rid of that bleed earlier, but I had more pressing concerns, unfortunately. Alright, so he has four points of bleed damage coming and 14 HP. Okay. Hopefully not my Arbalist. Thank you. That's fine. I don't care about that at all. Alright, you're just gonna deal with the the bleed for now, and you're gonna kill this guy. Beautiful. Take all of these. Be you. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying Eat fall. food. Nothing I can do about your bleed right now, unfortunately. Walk over here. Burn a torch. Enter this room. Hope for the best. You know, the uh, typical Darkest Dungeon flowchart. Hopefully this is our last battle, but two rooms left, I kind of doubt it. Okay. So priority one, this guy. He can mark us, and it seems like Butcher Cut does more damage against marked targets, which I guess makes sense. So, 
what we're going to do is try and stun this guy. And move him to the front, apparently. Beautiful. This is actually going all according to plan so far. Now, we can't... Hmm. Hmm. Is that worth it to take 20% less damage and 15, minus 15 dodge for the rest of combat? I don't know. I mean, maybe. We're going to give it a shot. How many uh, rounds does that last? Three? I mean, I'm not thrilled. But it's not the worst thing. Yeah. Okay. That was good. All right. You need heals the most. So go ahead and bandage yourself. You. Stun this big dude, I guess. All right. And you probably get diseased for your trouble. No. All right. I like that. Six to 12. Hmm. I think we just smack this dude in the face. percent chance to hit versus 63 well I'd rather take the 63 percent chance to guaranteed kill this unit yeah annihilated all right I feel like that was the correct decision there we gotta throw out some damage on this dude you have yeah 65 percent uh, stun resist. You already have 60% light resist, but... You know. Okay. Probably should have thrown out a heal there instead. Might have been a slight misplay. Five damage? Yeah. You'll need one more round of that uh, debuff, though. Okay. Miss. Honestly, I'm not super upset about that because it does give our arbalist slash plague doctor combo a chance to heal our arbalist and look at that we got a crit we're back you know like 50% HP which I'm pleased with now uh, top end of the spectrum for your damage would just be perfect here yeah that's top end of the spectrum that's all I asked for there we go. Okay. Um, you know, not super interested in any of that stuff. Go ahead and move to this room. What is that? That looks like a plank shield from Dark Souls just stuffed with knives. Uh, I mean, yeah, why not? Rack of Blades. A rack of dulled, rusty knives. They are covered in fresh blood. Wait, hold up. Used to cleanse items and prevent maladies. Can also be applied to a hero to eliminate combat debuffs. That probably doesn't remove disease, though, huh? Not once, like, we already have them. Good to know, though. Let's try and do this. Item had no effect. You know, we're gonna learn item had no effect item had no effect beautiful uh. glittering gold trinkets and baubles oh, okay paid for in blood i like that stashed heirlooms huh waiting to be spent it's fine okay these things aren't so bad. 
stun resistance through the roof. All right, what's got the lowest, or I guess, yeah, what's gonna do the most damage? It's gonna be this. So let's go ahead, hit this dude, hope to get the blight. And we do, so that thing is dead. So, can you and smash this thing in the face. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Beautiful. Is that stress or blight chance? Disease chance and stress and stun. Oh, that's real bad. Man, the Warrens suck, huh? Dog, come on. Okay. Do that. Why? This is your fault. Thank you for rectifying your mistake. Success so clearly in view. All right. Or is it shovel? A trick of the light. Torch. Hopefully our final room battle, but probably not. I really hope we don't have two more room battles. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Fear and frailty. The, the front line is going to be fear. fine. It's you two in the back who are just getting destroyed. A third disease. Yeah. I actually do kind of want to heal you. Throw out a stun on like this dude because he scares me. Wicked hack. All right, that's good. Uh, I should probably heal, but man, I really want this thing gone. All right, now we'll throw out a stun on this guy. Shuffle them up. Clear the corpses. And now we just need to deal with uh, this dude this round. Which? Yeah, all right. Two to four, that's, ah, oh, that's right. He has so much uh, protection. Is he like the swine version of an abomination? He's got like the lock and stuff. Ten damage is good. Is that a? Uh, you know, I don't want to know what that is. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Oh, I was worried about that. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Okay. Two rounds. Four to seven. Another Beautiful. Okay. All right. This isn't going so bad, uh, you know, except for our plague doctor back there. And then that big miss. And we can't heal him with our arbalist. Oh, we can't use that because we can't target him. Okay. Well, I guess heal yourself? And 
You're fine, man. All right, you move here. No. Sure. Yeah, I guess battlefield medicine yourself, for what it's worth. Will you move back? Okay. Chop this guy. Wicked hack. Finish the battle. Take all of that. As victories you. mount, so too will resistance. Food. All right. Um. Sure. Now, just please, not a battle in this hallway. All right, well, go for it. Crate's empty. Snag that free torch. Uh, are we going to talk about that face that I'm just now noticing? That is very unsettling. Yeah, sure. You want know just stack up the diseases on my plague doctor. Stop stressing the rest of the party out. You stun this guy. You kill that guy. Beautiful. You. Chop either of these dudes. Seven damage, not bad. Yeah, you know, what? heal the plague doctor. Let's let's be smart here. like to kill him before he got a chance to move. Destroyed. There we go. Alright. I like that. Okay. Maybe should have healed there, but having one fewer thing to worry about. Honestly, with even with 50% stun resist, I feel pretty good about this. Yeah, alright. Oh, jeez. Really would have liked to get the bleed there. Right. Turned out it didn't matter, so I just took a debuff for nothing. This expedition at least promises um, success. Burn the torch. Take that. There we go. All right. Eat some food and move along. Let's burn a torch just because we can and come in here for our final battle. Honestly, not bad. These dudes, not super concerned about. This guy's a right old asshole, but the, uh, the rest of these, not so terrible. He's got some uh, some graboid looking guys here in the front. So we'll start out. Let's stun this dude. One less thing to worry about. It's what, like blight? Okay, that's actually pretty terrible. I figured 75% chance for a guaranteed kill there, as opposed to 75% chance for damage on a stunned unit. I 
I'm very displeased with there you. There can be no hope in this hell. Not, no not you, Ventress. You, my arbalist friend. You're on healing duty. Oh, I had anti venom. Well, okay, that should be the end of him. By the time he actually gets to act again, the bleed will have taken him out. Yep, now the stun's gonna clear. He has two HP left. Bleed will take care of him next round. So, in the meantime, let's start worrying about these graphoids. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Not today. Not against these guys. Okay, we've largely stabilized. This should be the end of it. Beautiful. Okay, take all of that. Continue adventuring. Victory, but a victory uh, nonetheless. Snuff our torch. Open this bad boy up. Ooh, bunch of gold. Look, we're taking that gold. Are you guys hearing these sounds? Snuffing the torch just like... Oh, I'm very unsettled. Alright, uh, this goes. Alright, let's get out of here. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. All right, how do we do? We have... You know, like eight grand, which is more than we spent on the expedition, so we're in the positives. That's good. Got a fair number of heirlooms, uh, and also picked up a fair number of diseases, which is unfortunate. But we did get our Plague Doctor and our... Uh, leper to level two, which is exciting. Ruin Scrounger, it's pretty good. The Yips is real bad, uh, considering his accuracy is already garbage. Obsessed with self worship. And uh, Photomania is pretty good. Okay, that's fine. Let's head back to town. <sighs> we dug for months. Years, an eternity, and we were rewarded with madness. Why, uh, S 
so you refuse to leave the brothel. Okay. Yeah, I try and do something nice for you, and this is how you repay me. Well. Sort by stress. These two need to get a bunch of treatment. They need to get rid of diseases and also their stress. I think stress is probably the worst. Crests? I probably should have looked at this, uh. Before I committed them. Mm. Okay, well, let's check our stagecoach real quick. I think we're okay on Vestals and. Two lepers, two crusaders, two hellions, bounty hunter, two highwaymen, two vestals, one jester, one plague doctor, two arbalists. Okay. So I'm not super interested in any of you. Alright. Well. I don't know where we're going to go next time now. Because I did want to send our level 2 Vestal out uh, with the party. But they refused to leave the brothel. So... I think that's just going to do it for this episode. We'll, uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do next time. And then... Uh, figure out who we're going to send out to it. This is just going to have to wait another week. Alrighty. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. As always, feedback is welcome in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you next time.